This content authoring video will demonstrate how to add discussion forums to your Sitefinity website. Like many content items in Sitefinity, forums need a default page on which the forum content will be displayed to public users. Here I've defined a simple page called Forums, which we will assign as the default page when we create the new discussion forum. From the navigation menu, select Content, then Forums, then create a forum to begin. Give a title to your new forum. For our example, we'll call it Announcements. Each forum you create is one specific discussion board from your overall list of discussion forums. Because, depending on your site needs, this list of forums can grow very large, it's best to categorize your forums into sections, or forum groups. By default, our new forums will be added to a general discussions group but you can also create new ones for grouping related forums to better organize your site. We'll leave our forum in the general discussions group for now and proceed to select the default page from this forum which we defined earlier. Next you can override the URL for the forum itself. Remember this URL is not the full URL to the forum page. Rather, this is the dynamic URL name that is used by the forum widget control on the page to determine which forum is being visited. The URL name ensures that each discussion forum board has a unique URL even though several forums may be displayed on the same page. For now, we'll leave it and everything else at the default and create the forum. Now that we have defined this forum, we need to add it to the forums page we created earlier by adding a forums widget control. Click Pages and open the forums page. Then from the sidebar, drag the forums widget onto one of the content placeholders. As you can see, the page is immediately updated with the forum we created, categorized under the General Discussions group. By default, the forum widget will display all of the public forums you've created. For additional filtering and display options, click Edit for the widget to bring up the Control Designer. There are many different options for laying out and configuring your forums, and for more information on these, be sure to consult the Sitefinity Forums documentation. For now, let's go ahead and publish this page and open it on the public website. Here now we see the announcements discussion forum which has no posts, but by entering the forum we can create a new discussion thread. Give your thread a title and some content. and post your thread. Now you can see your thread in the list of threads of the announcements and users can reply as well as subscribe to updates for this and any thread in your discussion forums. Forums are a great way to encourage discussion among your Sitefinity users. For more information on using this module or any other Sitefinity topic be sure to visit sitefinity.com slash documentation and thank you for watching this video.